had a walk. Had a walk. Oh. Had a trap. Oh. 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 Fort Laramie, starring John Daner as Captain Lee Quince. Tales of the dark and tragic ground of the wild frontier. The saga of fighting men who rode the rim of empire. And the dramatic story of Lee Quince, Captain of Cavalry. Sergeant Gorse. Yes, sir? Pass the word to dismount and unsaddle. All right, Captain. I'm going up on that little knoll. Maybe I can see Mr. Seibert's party from there. I'll be right back. Yes, sir. This mountain unsaddle, been grazed water. This mountain unsaddle, been grazed water. All right. You unfit that mount for you grazing this time. Sure, Sergeant. I was just going. Well, you do it, then. This mountain unsaddle, been grazed water. We could make camp here, boat right there at water. Yeah. We could go hunting and fishing, too. Maybe bake some bread. <laughs> if you don't like the army, why didn't you stay in Louisville? I was starving there, too. But at least in Louisville, I never had no Indians after my scalp. You afraid of Indians, boat right? Sure. But I'm going to get me one. i got to get me an Indian. Why? Then I won't be scared no more. Well, at least you're not in the stockade. <laughs> and that's just because Captain Quince needs me. The troops supposed to have 83 privates full strength. I swear we're down to 60. Yeah, he needs me worse than I need him. What's the matter, Boatwright? Oh, nothing, Captain. Everything's fine. I like it out here. You better like it. Oh, sure beats sitting around stockade, sir. Last time you were in the stockade, did you just sit around? Well, no. No, but at least I didn't ride no horse out after Indians with an understrength troop. You'll never make a garrison soldier, Boatwright. Oh, I like the army, sir. Captain Quince? What did you find, Mr. Seibert? We rode over there, sir, where the smoke was. There's a homestead, Captain. Sue. Sue? Well, that's hey, enough, Boatwright. Yes, sir. Did they leave anybody there, Mr. Seibert? The man's still alive, sir. Corporal Mercer's with him. But the woman and the little girl, they're dead. I see. What does the man say? Nothing, sir. He's got no tongue. Take charge of the troop, Mr. Seibert. Sergeant Gorse and I'll ride over there. Yes, sir. And, Captain, take a look at this. Where'd you pick it up? Sue. The only Indian the man killed before they got him. The Seibert's... That's a Henry rifle, latest model. If the Indians have gotten their hands on guns like that, let's move out, Sergeant. How is he, Corporal? Is he bad, sir? They burned him some, too. But he's still conscious. There is a slow way to die. hundred miles to Fort Laramie, Captain. He'll never live that long. Sergeant, give me your revolver. You and Corporal Mercer start back. I'll catch up with you. Yes, sir. Move out, Mercer. Think we'll go after them Sioux Gors? I'm a first sergeant, not a captain. Why, well, I know, but you and Quince run this troop. He's Captain Quince to you. Sure. And he runs his troop. Sure.
boat. No. Everything all right, Captain? Everything's all right, Sergeant. Hey, what's that? Shut up and keep riding, Corporal. Well, what do you say? Shut no, up, up, I said. Sure. Sergeant. Sir? When we get back, fall in a burial party. Yes, sir. See that those graves are cairned. Yes, sir. One other thing, Sergeant. Don't forget your revolver. That homesteader doesn't need it anymore. Captain Quince reporting, sir. Captain, I know you're mad because I ordered you back from chasing those Sioux last week. You didn't see what they did to that homestead family, Major. I've seen their work before, Chris. There'll be more of it if we don't stop them. Ten miles from this post, there's a reservation of 4,000 Sioux. An uprising there would be far more serious than your little band that's marauding under Yellowknife. You have enough troops to patrol the reservation, Major, and still secure Fort Laramie here. Give me just half of B Troop, and I'll run down Yellowknife and his renegades. My orders are to keep a constant watch on the reservation and to secure Fort Laramie with all remaining troops. Yellowknife is being supplied with rifles. Henry 44s. I know. Those are repeating rifles, Major. I've reported this to Washington, Captain. And whoever is smuggling those rifles has got to be stopped. Or every brave on the reservation will join Yellowknife. In spite of your patrols. I've received no change of orders, Captain. We can't afford to wait, sir. Give me Sergeant Gorse and three men, and I'll at least find that gunrunner. I'll leave tonight, Major. You will not leave. Is that a direct order? It is. Am I interrupting, Uncle Ned? Oh, come in, my dear, come in. My niece, Captain, Miss Terry Lawson. This is Captain Quince, Terry. How do you do, Captain? Ma'am... Miss Lawson arrived while you were away, Captain. She's going to keep house for me if she doesn't change her mind about army life. Are you coming to the dance tonight, Captain Quinn? Dance? Haven't you heard? I decided to hold a dance tonight, Captain, for such officers as are available and for a few civilians from Laramie. It'll show the Sioux we aren't as frightened as they might think we are. I see. You're coming, Captain? Do you think Washington can spare me for a dance, Major? Washington? Inactivity is a hard burden for the captain, Terry. Oh. But uh, I'd suggest the captain be at the dance tonight. Good day, miss. Major... Quince reporting his order, Major. <laughs> you uh, make it difficult, Captain. You remember my niece, Miss Lawson. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Captain. But it's Miss, not ma'am, if you please. Sorry, Miss. I wanted everyone possible to be here, Captain. For the sake of morale, you know. Yes, sir. A lot of the townspeople are here. Oh, there's Lieutenant Mapleton. Uh, would you escort Miss Lawson, Captain? Excuse me. Oh, uh, Mapleton. My arm. Thank you, Captain. You weren't in the war with Uncle Ned, were you? No. I started out as a scout for General McClellan just before Lee ran him away from Richmond. And you became an officer afterwards? I was commissioned in the field, Miss Lawson. President Lincoln was mighty short of officers by 65. They needed officers, and I made a good one. Captain, Uncle Ned says you know more about the Sioux than anyone at Fort Laramie. Do you think the rest of the reservation will make trouble? I don't know, miss. I haven't been out there. You mean you could tell just by going out there? Wild Dog's an old friend of mine. Who's Wild Dog? He's a chief. He's about 80, but he's pretty smart. Captain Quince, if those Sioux did rise, would they attack the fort here? It's hard to say. If there's 4,000 of them and only 400 of us. 
Shall we go back? Oh, Mr. Syberts. Yes, sir? Until I return in the morning, you'll act in command of B Troop. I'm taking Sergeant Gorse with me. Any questions? No, sir. And escort Miss Lawson back to the Major. You'll excuse me, Miss... You're going to see Wild Dog, aren't you? Yes. Isn't it pretty dangerous, Captain? Two of you walking right in among all those Sioux? We'll try to reach Wild Dog first. But, Captain... Good night, Miss Lawson. <laughs> You are listening to Fort Laramie, starring John Daner as Captain Lee Quince. Drop your gun belt across your saddle, Sergeant. Mean that, Captain? A revolver wouldn't do you much good if these Sioux decide they want us. We're safer unarmed. All right, sir. Let's move out. Wished I had at least a bowie knife. It's late. Most of them are asleep. 4,000 Sioux in this campaign all asleep. No. We're being watched, all right. Yeah. Some young buck could get himself his first coup feather by spearing us. You wouldn't want to stand in the way of a man becoming a brave, would you, Sergeant? Captain, we're being stopped. I see him. Keep walking. Only one brave we can handle him. Leave him to me, Sergeant. Yes, sir. The only wild dog, nya. Is the ahi. He liazo valu. He azo. Let's move, Sergeant. We'll keep an eye on him. Still just standing there, sir. I told him I'm a friend of wild dogs. Luckily, he's from the same clan. What clan is that, Captain? White fox. There it is. Huh? See that medicine pole over there? With the white skin on it? That's Wild Dog's Lodge. Wait out here, Sergeant. Oh, yo, Liu Zia. Come in, my son. Sit down. It's been a long time since we've talked, Wild Dog. A long time. And you come now because of Yellow Knife. Yellow Knife is leading your young men into war with my people. Sue always been warriors. It is good to die in battle. Sue now have white man's rifles that shoot many times. And you know about the rifles? I know. Soon every brave on reservation will know, and they will leave. Guard of soldiers make no difference. It'll lead to war, wild dog. Big war. There are many clans among the Sioux. I am chief only of White Fox. What clan is Yellowknife? Yellowknife is of two moon clan. But there are White Fox braves with him? Yeah. I cannot stop them. I remember what it was like when I was young. It was different when you were young, Wild Dog. You had a chance then, but now they have no chance. They have many rifles. They have a few, Wild Dog. But the white man, the cavalry, has thousands of rifles. In the end, the Sioux cannot win. He must live in peace or he will be wiped out. <laughs> 